It certainly wasn't pretty, and at times it was just downright ugly for Oregon State. It was a game they had no business winning, but despite the fact that they trailed by 13 heading into the fourth quarter, Oregon State found a way to pull it out. It's one of those things where I don't know if I can take this anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure, yeah, but I know I can. It's actually really a fun. It's fun to see those kids competing, and of course it's fun because we win. You know, we've won two games in a row like that, and we're, we're both good and fortunate to do that. We're fighters, man. You know, uh, Coach Riley preaches that and all our coaching staff, you know, we work hard through uh, two days. This is where two days come from to win it all. Really happy with the way our team fought, you know, throughout the game. There were a lot of a lot of points where we had kind of been sputtering maybe and and um, you know, it would have been easy to quit, but I think we, we kept we kept fighting hard throughout the whole game. Not a lot of people thought we were gonna win that game, you know. But you know one thing I made sure you know, we made sure as a team that you know we're gonna keep fighting and we know we we're a play away. You know, we're down by ten points, about six minutes left. You know, we, we kept stressing, you know, we're going to get the ball back to y'all, y'all score. Our defense, we got to score. We played as one. We played from, from beginning to end. You know, we came here on the same plane, same buses, and now we're leaving on the same plane, same buses. I mean, that's just how it goes. I counted nine hip hip parades from the Oregon State locker room afterwards, and I can only assume that it was one for every life the Beavers used up in that win. And to celebrate it, they, of course, went to In-N-Out Burger. Reporting from inside Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego, I'm Stephen Nelson. Back to you.